Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas has tested positive for coronavirus. This is the guy who said, uh, no mask mandate, I won't have it. The, uh, we just told you, I think yesterday on the show, uh, about how the uh, folks running the Dallas uh, school board are saying, no, no, wait a minute. I, this is a real health concern for our kids, for our teachers, for everybody, right? And we want uh, kids to be masked up. In fact, later in the program, we've got stats on kids getting it at much higher rates now. It's really scary for parents. I've got personal stories about that. Now 15% of the people hospitalized are kids. This is like really a bad situation. And Abbott in Texas was like, no, you are not allowed to mandate that, okay? And if some parents, want to have the other parents you know, get endangered through their kids and having kids endangered, well, I'm here for it, right? Well, now COVID's here for you, right? So I'm not celebrating that Abbott as COVID. I'm also not shedding a tear. I mean, if you're an anti-vaxxer or an, I mean, in this case, he did get vaccinated. And isn't it curious, I'll just note this too, that Republican leaders will, when Lindsey Graham gets it, when Greg Abbott gets it, when all these guys get it, you find out, oh, they're vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, though, they're like, oh, the masks, the vaccines, oh, I don't know about that, guys. I mean, come on, be dumb, be dumb, don't listen to the doctors. Oh, me, I'm elite, I already took it, right? But it's, it's the reason why that happens is because they understand that it, if you're, let's say, a commentator or a pundit, if you have a podcast, uh, there's a market for the anti-vax, anti-mask community, clearly. And for politicians like Governor Greg Abbott, while he might be taking all the necessary precautions to ensure that he's not hospitalized and he doesn't die from this pandemic, uh, he will pander to the conservative base in Texas, tell them what they wanna hear for his own political future. That's really what it's about. 100%. So this story, I mean, it's it's funny that we came into it kind of in like a joking mood and understand the reason why is because we know that he's gonna be fine. He has no symptoms, but he does get tested for COVID on a regular basis. So he took a test, he realized that he tested positive and his office released a statement. So let me give you the details on that. They write that Governor Greg Abbott today tested positive for COVID-19. The governor has been testing daily and today was the first positive test result. The governor will isolate in the governor's mansion and continue to test daily. Governor Abbott is receiving Regeneron's monoclonal antibody treatment, which is kind of strange because they claim that he doesn't have any type of like severe symptom, right? Yeah, I, okay. I don't know. Yeah, Whatever. I don't know the medicine behind that. It might be that you give that even in in the case where the person doesn't have symptoms or it might be that you give that in the case where the person is the governor. Uh, like a norm, like right. if you're a regular citizen of Texas, I don't know that they give that to you or suggest that for you. But when you're the governor, you get special treatment uh, while you tell the masses, don't wear masks, idiots, and then vote for me, dummies. And look, the problem is he was able to get vaccinated. He's fully vaccinated, which is why in the second half of the statement, they say that Governor Abbott is fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in good health and currently experiencing no symptoms. That's the way the vaccine works. You might have a breakthrough infection, but the likelihood of you being hospitalized or dying from coronavirus is very, very slim. It's very unlikely for that to happen. Yeah, right? that's that's why, again, we, we joke around because 99.99% of the deaths are from the unvaccinated. But my point is, Jenk, that kids can't get vaccinated yet. That's right. Right, that's so right. while he's implementing a ban on mask mandates to prevent schools from implementing mask mandates, he's putting children at risk. He, and he doesn't care, he doesn't care. That's the issue from the very beginning of this pandemic, both Governor Greg Abbott of Texas and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick of Texas have proven over and over again that they do not care about the well-being of their own constituents in their very state. 100%, I don't know if we have that amazing map of the- We do. Yeah, so I wanna show that to you guys because so this is where the ICU beds are Nearly uh, full. Yes, and and the ones that are obviously darker red are the ones where they are more full. Gee, I wonder if you could spot a pattern. Can you spot a pattern anywhere? Oh, right, those are all the red states. Those are Florida and Texas and and uh, Alabama, etc. All the places where they said do not take precautions, and now their hospitals are overflowing, including with their own governors. 
So that leads me to two questions for you guys, because he was totally willing to play with other people's lives. And let, and we're fair, objective, and we'll give you the facts. So he did say he took the vaccine earlier, right? And he did encourage people to take the vaccine in a couple of statements, okay? But then he turns around and says, "Oh, freedom, freedom. I mean, if you don't wanna take it, don't take it. If you don't wanna wear the mask, don't wear the mask. And in fact, if the schools say the kids shouldn't wear the mask, no, I'm gonna endanger your kids. And I'm not gonna let the school make that decision. That's why his hospital beds are overflowing. So that leads to my question, if we had you know more time, the news broke right before we got on air, we would have done a poll question on it. but. Like, are we, and, and I'm, and this is funny because I'm mainly asking servers. Do you expect us to have sympathy for him? I mean, like, I e don't. At no, all. I, right now I have none, zero. But even if things took a worse, it turned for the worse, and he got really sick. Am I supposed to have sympathy for him? I, I don't know. I'm a big believer in eye for an eye. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, because honestly, his behavior and his uh, irresponsible communication on this pandemic has, led to all sorts of people not only getting sick and ho getting hospitalized, but dying, right? Did he have any sympathy for those people? Yeah, no. No, zero sympathy, zero, zero. He doesn't care about anyone other than himself. He's worried about uh, getting primaried from the right uh, by Alan West. So he's become more and more extreme in his positions. The, the man has no guiding principles. The only thing he cares about, much like Donald Trump, much like many politicians, to be quite honest with you, uh, in in politics today, only cares about himself. That's yeah. it. So the people who would say like, "Oh man, who's your freedom? I want no goddamn vaccine, man. I want to spear it all over myself, I'm awesome. And then when Abbott has COVID, and we go, "Oh, okay, I guess it is what it is." They're like, "How could you? <laughs> are you you're serious? I mean, are you joking?" So no, right now I have zero sympathy for Abbott and he can go cry about it, I don't care at all, okay? And, and by the way, mainstream media, if you wanna cry about it, I don't care about that either. Like, oh no, the poor Republican governor, he's an elite, he's powerful. Just because he led to the deaths of so many people in Texas that didn't need to die. But he's an elite, Oh my God, you have to have sympathy for him. No, I don't, I don't care about him. I care a lot more about the people he tricked in, in Texas who didn't wear masks and got COVID because of it and died. That I care about a lot. Uh, and and look, uh, in terms of uh, you know, how he'll be, it appears like we've said before, if you're vaccinated, you're gonna be fine. But I, if he goes to the hospital though, if it, does, if it is a rare case where he has to go to the hospital, I gotta ask a second question, should we let him? I mean, what's the hospital beds are full because not, of your decisions. Not too long ago, uh, he actually communicated with the hospitals in the state of Texas and uh, asked them to postpone elected procedure, elective procedures to free beds for latest COVID surge. But the governor didn't budge on his refusal to issue business restrictions or to allow schools and local jurisdictions to mandate masks. So that's the other part of this, right? Aside from the fact that the vaccine hesitancy, which is fueled by intentional disinformation campaigns by the right wing, by conservative media, is making this pandemic last longer than it needs to. The other part of it is as, we experiencing, as we're experiencing another COVID surge and overwhelmed hospitals, people who need to go to the hospital for various procedures are being turned away. Do you guys understand how unbelievably irresponsible, selfish and entitled that is? There was a video recently of a middle aged man who was furious because his wife who has cancer was turned away from the hospital. Yeah. Because she needed treatment, but they didn't have room for her. They didn't have enough hospital beds. That's the irresponsible garbage that we're dealing with right now. People who feel so entitled to act in whatever way they want in regard to a public health issue. And then of course, if they get sick, if they need to be hospitalized, of course hospitals are gonna take them in. But understand that every time they reserve a hospital bed for something that could have been prevented, someone who desperately needs that hospital bed for some other procedure that they desperately need, they get turned away. It's, yeah. it's just, I'm so honestly embarrassed by this country right now. Fully yeah. embarrassed. Yeah, look, uh, if Abbott, uh, discourage people from wearing masks, even though all the doctors in the country say to do that. And so he doesn't believe in doctors. So I don't know why he's taking the Regeneron medicine and he's taking any medicine and he's taking any precautions. You, you don't believe in doctors and you don't believe in science and you don't believe in medicine. So why don't you go rub some herbs all over yourself or whatever you do? I don't know if you believe in that. I drink more beer, 
eat a steak, do whatever, eat ribs, I don't care. But don't use our medicine if you don't believe in it. Don't use our doctors if you don't believe in it. Or, or Greg Abbott, is it that you don't mind your own citizens dying because you're lying to them about trusting doctors. But when your ass is on the line, all of a sudden, doctors, where are you? Where's my medicine? Oh my God, it affects me, me, oh, I'm so important. Hey, everybody in the media, go yell at the Young Turks because they said something mean about a governor, okay? Pretend they're the bad guys while I'm killing people in Texas with my negligence. By the way, Texas is 35th out of the 50 states in terms of people who have been fully vaccinated. Just as a comparison, California sits at 18, number 18 on that list. And about 45% of Texans are fully vaccinated, which is below the national average. So, you know, I don't think that this necessarily says something about the people of Texas. I think it says a lot about the leadership in Texas or lack of leadership in Texas, and now they have a governor who has tested positive for COVID after implementing a ban on mask mandates. It's just unbelievable. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.